Good morning, brothers and sisters. This is an article entitled, The Theft of God's Rainbow, by Jan Markell. Believe me, I would rather write about the Lord's soon return than gay pride, or rather, gay depravity. God introduced the rainbow in Genesis 9. It was part of a promise he made. A whole twisted movement hijacked it. In America, the month of June is set aside to celebrate the gay lifestyle. But let's be honest, the Western culture demands the near constant celebration of homosexuality every day and every month of every year. Throw in the now celebrated trans agenda and the cultural decline is astounding. We are racing backward to the days of Noah. Trans nudity was even celebrated on the White House lawn this week and may have trampled all hopes for a turnaround in America. What must God think? of queer all year. But June of 2023 saw dozens of major retailers betraying conservative and Christian customers as they catered to this cultural collapse. Queer all year was the theme of retail America. Target lost billions in sales due to boycotts and others followed in lockstep. More committed to an agenda than to corporate profits, we would eventually learn that these retail outfits would be subsidized by globalist schemers. Here's just a sampling of items offered to eager customers. Homosexual and trans clothing for three month olds. Cookie rainbow houses for small children. Pet gear, pet toys, and pet treats in rainbow colors. Pet chew toys guaranteed to turn a dog or cat gay. Rainbow jewelry in 4K gold. Pride themed eyewear. Multicolored pride cake mixes baby always proud bibs and special pride boxes of pop tarts targeting youth on Instagram Jesus had grace but spoke truth our Romans one culture celebrates this and as Christians we must respond with grace and love and kindness to every person trapped in the deadly blindness of the LGBTQ lifestyle but many one solid churches and denominations are going along to get along, it will not speak out about the biblical warnings. Jesus represented grace and truth. There is no way to be kind and gracious while refusing to tell people the truth that the way of sin is the way of death. The path of sexual immorality that our culture insists is so wonderful is actually a path to destruction. God's throne and a rainbow. John sees a glorious throne of God surrounded by a rainbow, Revelation 4.3. That reminds us that the rainbow belongs to God, not a sinful sexual culture. God is so committed to the salvation of lost men and women that you can't even gaze at his throne without seeing a shining symbol of redemption, the rainbow. God who created the rainbow and is at the moment surrounded by one will bring his people into a perfect and sinless world surrounded with glory, wonder, and rainbows. The rainbow is God's. He is going to take it back. The truth is, he never really lost it. It is our job to point a confused culture to God in a pure life. It's all about ESG scores. Globalist outfits like BlackRock have promised corporations an impressive ESG, equity, social, and governance score if they will cooperate in today's dark agendas. Impressive ESG scores compensate for customers abandoning them. God has said, enough. What do you think the last days would look like, since we're in the midst of them? Man's sinful activity is begging for God to send his son to rescue his bride from the depravity. It is sooner than you think. Maranatha.